Wow, that's a bit of an agony aunt question. Um, Credo, thank you for the donation. I cunt. I fucked a cunt. I have no idea why you're asking me, um, a 28 year old woman on the internet, about this. But fuck it. If I can help you, I'll I'll tell you what I think personally if you want. So Anita, I need your help. I have a beautiful family and a wife and a kid. I made a stupid fucking mistake and I've been cunt. I've been fucking my cunt. I've been unfaithful. Should I take some time off to focus on my family? But I'm not sure if I can be this transparent and announce that to my wife. Interesting, dude. Um, I would say that uh, kitten. My dick is on a kitten. <whistles> hey, what is with chat right now? What did I do? I don't know. This um kitten. Fuck it. Fuck my cunt. Go on. Regard to this question, I'd say um, I think that your wife's decision as to whether or not she wants to be with you and sleep with you and all the rest of it is probably going to hinge on what she knows about who you are and how you behave and whether or not you've been faithful to be dishonest with her is to force behavior out of her that she wouldn't normally necessarily give you if she knew the whole truth which is unfair and manipulative and takes away her right to decide a respect for her i would say um, please do tell her and let her decide what she wants to do with her life because that's her right. Hello, I'm a 27 year old guy from Sweden and I think I might be in love with you even though we've never met and live far apart. I'd love it if you, if we could make love from a distance. <laughs> Thank you, Vikil. Um, I'm very flattered, but no, I think we should stay just friends. I like you as a friend. Can you keep secrets? It depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I do have truth ticks. Fuck it! Um, I fucked a fish. Um, so, uh, I try my best, but I have to, like, I have secret management techniques because, um, one of the things with the fucking a biscuit. Fuck you. One of the mm, one of the mm, one of the things that happens when you try to keep secrets. If you have the kind of Tourette's where, um, like the things that you have anxiety about saying end up popping out. And this is why um, oh, you see a lot of people with Tourette's on, and they have um, tics outbursts, um, like racial outbursts or homophobic outbursts when they don't really feel that way, but they're around someone who might find it particularly offensive. Because sometimes when you have a cunt, and you fuck cunts, sometimes when you have anxiety about saying something, um, it ends up happening. Um, and so what I have to do is, with secrets especially, cunt. Um, I have to kind of avoid situations. Firstly, the first thing that I'll do is I'll avoid situations where um, it's likely that the secret would be something that I shouldn't really say. The second one is that I think about things and kind of manage my thought patterns very carefully in certain situations. And if I really can't do that, then I avoid ticking altogether as much as I can. I sing songs in my head. I sing along to the words of a song in my head or I whistle them. And I generally just get very antsy. So I don't like secrets very much. I really fucking don't. And it's very, very challenging for me. Hey! Based on the way you speak, I assume you must be a gamer, a gamer girl. Please DM me. I really want to get in a private call with you and have you whistle into my ear. <laughs> Keithu, thanks for the donation and for the laugh, my sweet. But, you know, I I'd rather just stay friends. I wouldn't want to ruin such an amazing friendship with something as silly as sex, you know? Even phone sex. <whistles> right, cunt. I like fuck the friends. Also, what's your favourite biscuits? Kit Kats? Kit Kats are a chocolate bar, not a biscuit. Um, my favourite biscuit is chocolate bourbons, I think. That or mint Oreos. It kind of tastes toothpaste-y, but in a fucking cunt. But in a good way. My biscuit's all over your cunt. Can you turn the uh, alert sound down? Yeah, my cunt is on fire. I can happily do that, but the weird thing about that is I already did. I have no idea why it's so loud again. But I can see if I can turn it down. Can I fuck your friends? Can I fuck your friends? Fuck it. Dick. Shit on a dick. Whoops, I just tested a donation instead of actually fucking my biscuit. Go on. 
Come on, my biscuit. Go on. <laughs> Mr. Mike Hawk, thank you so much for the generous donation and for the encouragement, my sweet. Banyanya! I love banyanya. I love it. I love banyanya. Mmm. Banyanya. Mmm. Banyanya. I'm a god. I fuck god. <laughs> what happened to new PC? Ah, uh, I got cursing. You're a unicorn in the Tourette's world. Well, Kenapasta, I knew that the swearing was rare, but I didn't realize that my cunt was on fire. Shit. Shit. Um, send help. Uh, I didn't realize that arrived yet. They're supposed to arrive tomorrow. I think I'm going to go on a murderous rampage. Fuck a biscuit. Um, if I don't get them tomorrow. Can I fuck your friends? Your voice is so soothing. You sound like operators in movies or video games. Have you ever voice acted or considered it? I'd love to be a voice actor. It sounds like so much fun. But to be fair, my dick is on fire. Hi! Um, I think that whoever employed me would have to be very patient with me and would be have to be willing to edit out a lot of things that I didn't mean to say. So unless my dick is on fire, fuck you. Unless, mmm, unless, mmm, unless, um... Unless they were okay with that, or unless they were casting someone for a character with Tourette's, I really doubt I'm ever going to get to be one. Can I pound your fish? Can I pound your fish with a dick? Something tells me Anita might have taken revenge on an ex by fucking his friends. Press goals. Do I really seem like the type? I'm all bark and no bite, literally. Weirdly, like, I know it might seem kind of like my cunts on fire. Fuck you. Bushfire. Put it out. Um, I, it might seem like I think about a lot of dirty things, but I don't. Like, none of these things, cunt, none of these things are things that I'm thinking about, honestly. Um, like, I don't think about fisting people even half as much as I offer to. Um, I'm not thinking about dick. Fuck the dick. All the dick. I'm not thinking about dick even half as much as I talk about it. Um, yeah, and I, I tend not to fuck people's friends. <laughs> TT, thanks for that donation. Kitten, 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 fuck it, fuck it, bitch. Man, I appreciate it. Why are you adding PewDiePie? Why are you adding PewDiePie, kitten? Can I fuck your friends? Can I, mmm, can I squish your tits? <laughs> well, if you're really here, hello, pewds. Dick. You have a man costume donated $5. I want to fuck my wife. Beautiful family and a wife. Back back two times. Wife. Orson, Orson, no! STD! Time we're gonna take your time off to focus on... Facebook, I've been on Facebook. What the fuck? What am I seeing right now? <laughs> Brandon, I think I'm officially banning you from ever, 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 ever making a song request ever again. Ever again. Have you ever said you loved someone as a truth tick? Um, I do tick. When I am in a relationship, I do tick. I love you a lot. Like, as a tick. It just, it is something that happens obnoxiously often. <laughs> um, because it's a truth tick in the moment. Um, but never out of the blue to someone I've never said it to before. Although, cunt, cunt. Fucking smelly cunt on a biscuit. Double dunk. Um, although I have said to someone that I never loved them as a tick. That was the truth tick, and very blatantly a truth tick, and it was an awkward and slightly painful situation for all those involved. <laughs> Ever get that? Ever get that feeling of sexual healing? Cheers, love! 
package you some healing.